Hello my soccer universe and welcome to this review of the last Liverpool game, my personal review. I decided to do this because I would spend anyway uh, too much time on it in a regular video and I will do a proper Europa League uh, review and post it a little bit later after this one. But you know, I just have to get my thoughts out. I got my quick thoughts out in a one minute video. So let's share a little bit more. Needless to say, this was the game of the at least a decade, if not of all time, for Lusk to host a big name like Liverpool in their own stadium. Yes, we were drawn against Manchester United in the round of 16 of the Europa League in 2020. And the stadium would have been sold out, it would have been an equal bus. Um, but then it was Corona uh, broke out and suddenly we had to play with an empty stadium which was not ideal and so this was kind of the makeup for that yes we're playing the other really really huge name uh and i would argue liverpool is even a big bigger name just because of the presence of Jurgen Klopp. i mean we watched the players there and it was such a a mind fuck if you would like to have this place that I see on TV right there and you know I say yeah Brazilian national team goalie in Alisson who did not play but he warm, warmed up with the Egyptian uh, with Mohamed Salah with the Dutch national, national team captain it is just um, pff, Scottish national team captain uh, something that boggles your mind and even my wife said after, after the warm up you know I actually got my money's worth by just watching these players right here but the one one person that everyone looked out and he was at the warm up there, which uh, our coach did not, was Jurgen Klopp. It was that, and you know, uh, he was the person that everyone wanted to talk to. He was the face of Liverpool. He probably is the face of Liverpool uh, at this moment, and so this was uh, the main reason for it. Uh, it was also the Liverpool were staying uh, north of Linz, and in order to get there, they have to drive, you know, via a little bit up a hill. They drive through the valley right here, so they were passing more or less close to where we were living, which is another one of those things. Yeah, I mean, a wide, uh, it's really nice. It's close to the Czech border. It's a half hour drive from Linz, but that they are traveling there, it, it was just yeah. Don't get that. You don't get that very, 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 very often. It's pretty cool. I have to say that the whole shebang of, and I said it already in my preview video, um, of journalists and everyone went around, you know, they rolled out the red carpet for him, uh, for Liverpool. And I actually liked when Klopp said, you know, we're not here for pleasantries. We want to win that game. And last coach Saki that did the same thing. This is a competitive match. There are points on the line. This is not now a feel goal story and I really hate it when, he, when Klopp was asked about Upper Austria or when uh, he was asked after the game, what do you think of Lusk? He said it is not his task to lord Lusk. He's here for his team. And this small mind, my mind is something that ticked me off and this is actually why in the end I went to America because I don't like this small mindedness. See it as a reality. This is they are here to win. Now, coming towards the stadium, <laughs> my brother uh, that I met, he just missed the Liverpool bus, but yeah, he saw it on, 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 on the back, which is actually was pretty, pretty cool. We arrived like a few minutes later. I mean, there were so many, we were about an hour, hour and a half uh, before. There were already so many people in and around the stadium. It was, uh, it was packed. It was all going on. It was buzzing, as I said, for the warm up. I mean, support our, our our team but also yeah here the liverpool stars so that was pretty cool uh and yeah it was just really really everything was excited i mean the fans were even singing uh during during the warm-up and in the run-up to it from, from from excitement i have a little video clip here <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
but it really then hit the next gear, you know, when the players walked out. Uh, and I have to say that the Tifo that the last fans made, yes, this is a jersey from 95 that they put up there, which I'm not sure how fondly I remember that, but it was a jersey that I really liked. No, it was in 94 when we got promoted uh, back into the league. Uh, and we were only wearing this for half season, but they just reissued this as a fan version. And so they made a nice Tifo with that and just soak in the atmosphere right here. Now, the big question, of course, was what, who will Liverpool play with? It was clear, Lask is going to play the first team. And may I say that I actually really enjoy the uh, European jerseys of Lask this season. I think they look actually quite nice because they are the black stripes, but it's all this half-half look. So I thought this was really, uh, it's a really cool look overall. Um, as for the lineup, uh, for Liverpool, yes, he made 11 changes from the 11 that played against, Liv uh, against Wolves. So yeah, but still, there was a Van Dijk there, there was Konate there, there was Luis Diaz, and I pointed out, yeah, he will cause a lot of trouble for us. Uh, there was, of course, Darwin Nunez, a player that Liverpool spent as much as we did for the entire stadium. Just have that in mind. I mean, this was kind of the another moment there. But when the game started, uh, yes, you could see that uh, Liverpool, and I also hated that Liverpool played in purple. The Reds. I mean, this was not Liverpool, we call it Lila Pool because purple in German is Lila, so it was Lila Pool that we played against. Um, but yeah, you could tell that the Liverpool players have not had a good cohesiveness yet, and Lusk played their game. They uh, were attacking, pressed up high, tried to put Liverpool a little bit under pressure early. Early on, always uh, close the center, push them to the sides, and always try to uh, get uh, get like um, a numerical advantage uh, there in order to press on. And you know, just to illustrate, I made a little clip that's the uh, during the game uh, in the early stages. <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't go to anything from that, but uh, it meant that we soon had a corner kick and then uh, we had another corn corner kick and from that in the in 14th minute, it was a corner by Horvath that goes to Florian Flecker who takes it down and puts it in the net right in front of us. It was a great goal and everything went ballistic. Uh, he made a, a celebration with, with a salto. And then, of course, I give you here the little spiel that we have after the um, a goal, which I think is so much fun and the girls love it. Unfortunately, you don't, the anthem is only at the end.
and so after that honestly and you can hear it a little bit of my on my voice as well this was a true pinch me moment are we really leading liverpool surely that cannot last long it lasted for more it lasts until the end of the half and beyond that and i would argue yes when liverpool could play through the press they were dangerous they were really dangerous there were a few situations there but on the other hand it also has as we said that lusk actually created also uh, i mean not more shots on goal but there were other chance, chance chances as well and with some luck you make it to nil and then maybe but i still think it would have not been enough to hang on but you know the one nil at the half i mean my, my brother we were looking at each other uh, this is not real this cannot be i warned especially my wife then i said you know where is the difference is that lusk is playing the first team and they will be able to hang in there for an hour maybe a little bit more but then the class comes through and what uh, liverpool can bring on is just a few levels above what lusk can bring on i mean liverpool can improve the squad with some uh, changes which Lusk cannot. And that's exactly how, how, how it happened. Early in the second half, there was pressure. There was intense pressure already from Liverpool. And Klopp said in the half, yeah, uh, he focused on the things that were working in the first half. And they did a little bit more of that. And then it was a clumsy penalty, uh, you know, with Diaz falling down and having his thoughts up and Luis Diaz, yeah. And Darwin Nunez, who honestly, uh, he was the only player that really ticked me off. Besides Konate with his uh, constant shoving and, and so on. Uh, but he was trying to antagonize the crowd all the time. Which, uh, do you really need that? I mean, uh, the crowd was really there to support, mostly Lusk, but also really take soaking in in, in, in in the moment. But all this gesturing around, I was not very, very pleased with that. Right thereafter, Lusk tried to, again, retake the lead. They really did that. And got cut, caught, caught out. It was a brilliant move for Hafenberg. To lose Diaz 2-1. Uh, just at the moment where everyone said, yeah, get up, clap, 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 and boom, 2-1. And from that moment, there was no coming back. And Liverpool just kicked into the next uh, gear, brought on the cavalry, you know, yet Sobosh, yet Salah, come, 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 coming on. Uh, which was great to see the stars, really. I was happy to see that. But you also could see that all the changes that Lusk made. Uh, well, I had some hope. Uh, I knew it's a fool's hope and it's not going to last from a, and you know Liverpool then controlled the game and just with the first few touches that Mohamed Salah had this is more than any Lusk that I've ever seen in the, in the stadium just a pure technical class and quality and wizardry that he can pull off and yes probably I'm talking here to the national audience who are known to that and yes I see it on TV but seeing this in person is just a whole different realm, especially such close-up and then yeah he makes his goal as well it's 3-1. Um, I think it's an honorary re result. Uh, in the end, the class came through. Lusk, again, hung in there for about an hour. Played really well. Given that the Liverpool squad was not the A squad, I am not saying this was parity uh, in that sense. But you can take out of it that, yeah, the new way of being more offensive, playing a high line, even against Liverpool, seeing that, you know, the offensive benefits are outweighing the defensive frailties that you have through the system. I think that is encouraging to see. After the game, um, of course, Lusk Stadium is setting up applauding Lusk all over and to, to away Liverpool as well. And then even, uh, you know, after the greedy defense, Jurgen Klopp even made a... He knows how to pander to, to the crowd. He even applauded the Lusk um, uh, fans or the whole stay stadium for a short while, which I thought was a nice gesture. Uh, he was absolutely right to uh, criticize the pitch. Horrendous. I mean, you see it already when we're standing there. Why we have a brand new stadium? Why they cannot get the pitch right is beyond me. That is just embarrassing, I gotta say. But yeah, overall, we all had fun. It was a fun evening, I got to say. Uh, it's great to see. Yes, they didn't play all the players. Uh, but it was still great to see a team like Liverpool coming to Linz. And yeah, it was an enjoyable game. Let's see where the group stage will be going. I still think that Lusk uh, rank outsiders to even make third place against the other two teams. And I'm actually afraid that the other two teams will take this match even more serious than 
Liverpool did. And while the gap in quality might not be as big, they will take it more seriously and that's why you will struggle a little bit more. But still, it was fun uh, and I, we truly enjoyed it. So quite happy with that. So yeah, let me know what you thought about that game. If you saw it, uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this little video recap, and I will talk to you about more Europa League a little bit later on. But till then, bye.